It was designed as a tool for librarians to use in uh, making decisions about which journals to subscribe to for their institutions, because it is a journal-specific metric. It was not ever intended to be a measurement of scholarship, certainly not of individual scholarship, and yet it has been um, subverted to a role uh, in the measurement of scholarship, and it has, because it's a simple number, why it's even given to three decimal places, it must be you know, terribly scientific and accurate. You know. <laughs> This is nonsense. The data on which the number is calculated doesn't justify that precision. Um, it has been um, hijacked by, by institutions and administrators, indeed by senior colleagues, probably including me at a certain point, in trying to decide whether someone's doing important work. And it, is not in, it was never intended to be that measure. And you, you can't recognize truly original discoveries quickly, fairly often. In my own career, one of my first really most influential papers, I looked at the citation history and it took you know, seven years before it started to become cited. And yet, the impact factor is calculated on the basis of two years worth of citations. So th that number alone encourages journals, maybe unwittingly, to favor articles that they think are going to be an instant hit. 